Welcome to an App Spotlight. Today we're going to show you Notability and um, why it's so cool for students and professionals out there. Um, and we're going to show you how just by using it a little bit and showing you everything that it does. So, let's go ahead and open it up here. I'm after a brief setup phase. You'll actually find yourself in a blank note. Um, once you're in here, you can do a couple different things. If you look up at the top of the screen with me, you'll see the T for text, which is just a word processing feature that you can type on the screen or a keyboard. You have a pencil for drawing. You have a highlighter, which allows you to highlight text in areas. You have your eraser, and then you have a pair of scissors to cut and move things. Um, a little bit over farther to the right, you have a microphone for recording audio. And then you have some other features I'll show you over in this uh, in the corner, and I'll show you that here in just a few seconds. So, um, when you have the T highlighted, when you tap on the screen, you can just start typing away. And then you can just start taking notes um, with your keyboard if you'd like to do something like that. Um, but then you can also kind of marry it with the concept of actually writing and taking notes. So, I'll just tap on the pencil here. And then here you can choose your sizes and colors. So, I'll choose one of these smaller ones. And then either with your finger or stylus, you can start writing. So, um, I'm just going to do a quick little test here for you. So, bad handwriting aside, that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what you can do. And then, of course, if you need to, um, you know, you can, you can draw diagrams and images and um, really tr give an idea of how things should look. Um, and I'm actually using a stylus with this right here, which would be a little bit easier for drawing and, and writing for a lot of people. If there's anything I need to highlight, I'll just tap on the highlighter. And then I'll just highlight what I want. And you can see I can highlight various things. If I want to erase anything, I just tap on the eraser and just kind of mark off what I want to erase, just like that. Here's the scissors. If I just circle test, I can move that around a little bit. Then if I want to do anything audio, I just tap on the microphone and it will record for me. And then we can play that back. I just tap on the microphone and it will record for me. Then I can also really kind of um, add some really cool and unique features. So we'll scroll down a little bit here, and you can see there's going to be a whole bunch of page uh, space to work with. Um, you can import photos from your uh, camera roll if you'd like to. You can take a photo. So let's say you have a worksheet or something like that you need to work on, or if a professor hands something out, take a picture of it with your camera, and that will import it to um, this document for you. If you want to do a figure, you can. Um, and you can kind of build something up. Um, so I'll just build something, this box with a couple lines in it real quick. Press done, and then you see here's a figure, and then you can move that around, you can caption it, um, all that kind of stuff. You can also add a web clip, which is kind of cool. So we will just go to simplymac.com, one of our favorite sites. I'll just press done. Then it basically does a screenshot of the site I was on and what everything the screen saw. And then of course I can do uh, any captioning or anything like that with um, the screenshot if I'd like to. Then I can also do stickies. So you can just do a blank sticky, you can do a sticky with lines. One that will be very intriguing for a lot of students, especially if you're working with math and grids and stuff like that. If you do a, uh, a gridded one. I'll just go ahead and move it over here. And then in, in the cool trick with something like this, of course, is you can start writing within this. So if you need to do something with quadrants, you can. And then you can do some really cool stuff for homework and note taking and stuff like that. Once you're done with your document, and you see we can have pages worth of worth of info here, all kinds of notes, as well as your your pictures, your drawings everything like that and you can see we can have multiple pages of various things uh, you just press the share button you can email you can do Dropbox you can do Google Drive and share all the stuff you do with your notes so um, that should give you an idea of the, how useful this app can be how versatile it can be and how, just how handy it can be so um, it's on the App Store right now it's $1.99 it's called Notability um, the price on it right now, I said it was on sale, so at the price, at the current time, the price is $1.99, so don't be surprised if that jumps up. It's a great app. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. 
um, pretty much every student should at least try it because it's great for notes and it can help make things a little bit easier for you in the classroom. So um, thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll catch you next time.